Welcome back to the show. Let's talk to Alessio Rastani. He's the founder and CEO of LeadingTrader.com. Morning to you, Alessio. Thanks again for having me. Right, let's kick off Bitcoin. You've sent a slide. What's going on in the world of Bitcoin? Yeah, about a couple of weeks ago, Nick, I talked uh, about Bitcoin. It seems a lot of folks are interested in Bitcoin, what it's doing. Back at the time when I was here, Bitcoin was trading around about, uh, just, it was about uh, where the Bitcoin was sitting on that purple line, uh, about tw 20. 2,500, I think it was at the time. So when Bitcoin was at 2,500 just a few weeks ago, uh, I said essentially that we're in a potential wave five, that we've completed the correction, the correction which we had uh, from June to July. And I said that was a wave four correction and we're heading for a wave five move higher. It, it seems that is exactly what's happened so far. So we're, I believe this is what's happening right now. I think we are in a, in a medium term wave three uh, of this long-term wave five, if that makes any sense to anybody. So in, in my language, that's yeah. bullish, right? It is bullish, absolutely. So the momentum still is with Bitcoin. Potentially, I think my next targets actually are, here's what I said, as long as we stay above 3,000 to 2,900, the path of least resistance is still a move higher to 20, sorry, 3740, which is the uh, Fibonacci extension 1618 extension there. I got an email from one of our uh, traders saying, look, should we, should we be shorting Bitcoin right now? And this is actually, a, I would say, uh, a common mistake that people make, which is they see, oh, okay, Bitcoin can't go any higher, so I've got to go short it right now. No, no, no. Um, the first thing I would look for before I short anything is divergences. So by divergences, what I mean simply by that is the price is going higher, but you can see the momentum is not going higher. So, for example, RSI, there's no divergence there. Uh, RSI is not even overbought. RSI, for folks who may not be aware, is the relative strength index. Shows the force of a trend. The, yep. uh, it's an oscillator that shows the overbought, oversold levels. And we just basically have no setup at this point to short Bitcoin. No, I'd still stick with the trend, with the momentum, and pullbacks to the 21 EMA. For example, pullbacks at, the, at this moment right now to, to 3,000 to 2,900 could be buying opportunities. Um, so for, basically, you're looking to buy the dips buy as the dips, long as yeah. we're above... 2,900, 3,000. Absolutely. In fact, if you take a look, the dip we had a couple of weeks ago when it dipped to the 21 EMA there, uh, that purple line, was a buying opportunity. In fact, uh, that would have got you a nice little uh, return uh, on that as well. So, yeah, uh, stay with us until... The trend is your friend. Don't buck the trend. Absolutely, yeah. Alessio, thank you very much indeed.